hello there and welcome back to my channel so today we have an aliexpress haul i've got a bunch of mostly makeup mostly makeup today but for all you makeup junkies we have makeup we have well we just have makeup but there's a lot of it so let's just get straight into it oh my gosh guys i'm so sorry like i just have to start the video with a little bit of talking therapy for myself so it's Saturday today. I had one of the worst working weeks I've had in a long time this past week. I didn't just have a crying in the bathroom kind of day. I had a crying in meetings, crying in the general office space, crying in the brew making station. Just a, there was a lot of public crying you know, like when you're really, really upset or, you know, you just start crying, the waterworks, they begin and you finally kind of, you know, you kind of talk yourself down. You'll be like, I'm ready to come on. It's fine. You've got this girl. Come on. You're a fucking rock star. You can kick some asses. Come on. Pull yourself together, girl. And then for me, I play like heavy metal rap song like in my head. So I'll be like, yeah, you motherfucker, crack dealer jumping on the block, going and mm, punch out some motherfuckers. Do you know what I mean? So I'll be like in my head like, yes, 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 I'm a gangster, I'm fine. And that usually like makes you feel good. But then the moment someone says to you, oh, how are you doing? For fuck's sake. Ugh, that's it, it all goes downhill again. And like, so I'm at the brew making stage, like I finally got myself together. I'm just making myself a coffee. I'm like, yes, you've got this as long as nobody asks me how I am. So I'm just making a coffee. And then Sharon, who is so lovely, she comes over and she's making a drink. She goes, oh, I'm win. How are the kids? How is Anton? I just burst out crying. I'm just like, oh my gosh. It, it was a terrible week, guys. But do you know what? We got to the end of it. It's Saturday. It's Saturday and I'm, I'm ready to just rest and do a video, of course. So this is fun today, the best time ever. So, okay, guys, by the way, I hope you had a great week. I hope that you did not have any crying in the office. And if you did, I hope it was in the privacy of a cubicle and not out, out and about. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to now be known as crying Amwen. Like, don't approach Amwen. Do not ask her how she is because she will just cry and she'll tell you to stop asking how she is and she'll just walk away. Okay, so we're going to kick off the video today with a highlighter. This is by the DSM brand. This is called the Skin Friendly Mineral Powder. Well, I mean, I'm glad they got the translation right for this because could you imagine if they had said something like Skin Aggressor Mineral Powder or Skin Hater Mineral Powder? I mean, pff, that would have been a disaster. So it just says on the back, natural mineral powder with soft slippery ingredients that's just what i always want in my face powder for it to have soft and slippery ingredients you know that's just so important it's got moisture essence formulated to enhance a positive no a perfect effect of conceal and very easy to make up and last for all day like that that makes no sense to me whatsoever but yeah anyway Ta -ta -ta. Oh my gosh, you know she's fancy when she comes in a little suede bag, you know, with these, oh no, ah, see, mm, I thought it was one of those little bags, you know, that has two little bits that you pull and it kind of clasps, clasps in, but no, it's not, it's just like a little suede bag, but still, I mean, great, you know, I don't even think Tom Ford makeup comes in a little velvet bag, I mean, not that I would know because... When am I ever going to buy to Home Ford? I mean, never, but oh my gosh, guys, come on, let's do this. Oh, fucking fancy as feck. Look at this. Oh, do you know what? In person, a bit tacky, but in the camera, oh my gosh, get a load of that, guys. I feel like I'm going to be like blinding my neighbours right now just by radiating. I mean, I'd say the sunlight, but there's actually no sun today, which is why. I, if I look a little bit dark and shit, like shitter than usual, it, there's no sun out today. But anyway, guys, so this is a little compact. Apparently, this is a powder for your skin that's very friendly. Indeed. Oh. 
Okay, so this is she. Has this beautiful kind of very light marbleized look to it. Instantly, it reminds me of hourglass powders just by the look. So in my head now, I'm thinking, yes, I now have an hourglass to dupe. If I touch this, I think I'll kind of know. Do you know what? I should not hold this so close to my nose because it has a little bit... Oh, no, it has a fecking load of an unpleasant smell. It really does, guys. Do you know what? And a lot of people say, you know, when I, and I'm not saying that this is wrong, but you know, when I sniff a product and I'll be like, oh, feck off, feck right off. Do you know, and, and a lot of people say that that will be from the glue. It's like the glue that is holding everything together that smells. But I'm going to do a test now. Oh my gosh, she's really soft. Let's smell my finger. Yeah, my finger stinks. And I would assume there's no glue in the product. So I think the product, it just stinks. But do you know what? Why am I still sniffing it? I don't know, guys. So we're going to just do a little bit of a rub, rub, rub. So it feels very, very soft to the touch. I'm going to just pop a little bit more on. I mean, I don't think you can probably <laughs> see all that much, you know, because it is a powder. But I do appear to have got a little bit just maybe a tiny bit of coverage a little bit of a matte radiance which is my favorite kind of radiance you know because with a dewy radiance you know it's all up in there up in your face you're like holy shit that's a dewy radiance but with a matte radiance it's a little bit sneakier like it sneaks up on you from behind it's stealthy it's matte but it's a radius it's a glow and then people look at your face and they say she's glowing from within that girl she is it's all natural all natural nothing artificial she's a glower and she's glowing from within deep within her vagina i mean really guys so anyway this looks really really interesting i think that this would be a really really good all over face setting powder so i will be trying this out soon i just feel like oh yes bitch yes i have made it with this because it looks so good but then in person not so good do you know what i mean just on camera like yes i've made it but in person no i've not made it that's the kind of thing but okay so that's the first thing that took me eight minutes to discuss i mean great okay so next i got a set of brushes i've been wanting to get some makeup brushes for ages but i don't know why i've always been a little bit reluctant when i buy makeup brushes because i'm so so picky and i've had a lot of bad experiences honestly with makeup brushes from aliexpress when they're good they're great and when they're shit they're so shit and I feel like there's no in between with Aliexpress so I always get a little bit you know scared when when thinking of buying any because a lot of the time as well they'll look really really good in the photos and then in person you're just so disappointed if anyone would ever say that you could not be catfished by a makeup brush they are wrong I mean they've obviously never shopped for makeup brushes on Aliexpress you know what I mean? But anyway, so these are by the Belly brand. So a while back, I did ask in a video if everyone could give recommendations of good brands of makeup brushes on AliExpress. And Belly was one of the most popular, most recommended brands. So of course, I trust you guys. So I thought, yes, let's do this. I haven't got these out yet, honestly. So if you just give me a moment, I will get them all out. You know what i'm sure that i ordered these in like a neon green color but maybe i'm just thinking of something else guys just excuse me for one sec i'm going to have to unwrap them from their condoms i mean i call these condoms because they look oh shit they look like condoms like well they don't look anything like condoms but you know the packaging bit it's like a little condom for a brush do you know what do you know what i mean do you see what i mean is that just me probably anyway guys okay so within this set we have 12 brushes these are eye brushes so we don't have any big feck off face brushes going on here they for the most part feel like okay i really like the kind of matte peach handles but i definitely would have preferred if they were neon green like i don't know why i've just got that in my head and um, for the most part they feel okay they kind of feel like go hair because they do feel a tad bit uh kind of 
rougher than they're not the softest brushes in the world is what i'm trying to say but you know they feel just fine i am rather excited about using these can you see this one i don't know if you can see he's got a little fella just sticking up something went wrong in the factory there but yeah i mean for the most part they do seem okay i think i could definitely bash out an acceptable eye look with these i am going to try these in an upcoming video so we can see but yeah i think um, overall i feel like they're going to be okay like i'm never going to use this one i don't know why they insist on putting this type of brush in every single brush set because for me it just makes no sense and because he's quite long you don't really have any control over the brush so if it was like shorter i'd be i'd be all over it but i just i can't get down with this so i'm gonna just that one's going straight in the bin. I'm never, never using it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I feel like I can make something work here, okay, guys. These are my new brushes. YOLO. I don't know why I'm saying YOLO. But um, anyway. Hi. Oh, so annoying. I'm so annoying today. Why do I have to be so annoying? I just, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Oh, and I've just realised I'm putting everything in my box of... AliExpress makeup to try out and I've just remembered I've still got to take my fucking thumbnail so then I have to get everything out again this happens every single time I film a haul I know you don't care okay so next we have a lipstick this is not just any lipstick this is a crystal spirit cat lipstick I don't know what that means but it sounds interesting I have a picture of a cat on the front um, and yeah, it just says Crystal Spirit Cat Lipstick. So I am intrigued. Oh my gosh, guys, we have another velvet baguette. I feel like I'm just spoiled today with this fancy packaging. Like, look, guys, hola, hola. Why am I saying hola? I don't know, guys. Oh my gosh. Pop the lipstick out of the sheaf. Oh my gosh, guys. <gasps> Just by the head, I know that even if this lipstick is shit, it can sit right up on my shelf and look fantastic. Look, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, this is so adorable. This. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. Like, I literally do not care what the lipstick is like. It could be poo brown for all I care. I just don't care. This, this is so cute. Okay, shall we just see? Oh my gosh, so there we go. It's very autumnal shade. It's kind of like a brownie red. It actually looks quite nice. Like, it, I'm glad it isn't poo brown, honestly, because that would have been just strange. Like, why would I have picked a poo brown shade? But this actually looks quite nice. Um, should we do a little swatch? Okay, so there we go. I actually really like the shade. It's very autumnal, very kind of 90s grunge, which is my favourite. So, uh, uh, uh. you know what, like for the first time ever, I actually feel like I put my falsies on f fairly well today. Like for me, this is good. But I didn't cut them enough. So like there's a bit on both sides just like poking in my inner eye. And it's not pleasant guys, let me tell you. Not not fun time right now, but I'm just I'm, I'm going with it because it took me ages to put them on. Okay, so next we have a product by Beauty Glazed. This is a 3D highlighter, a liquid glow. Oh, I didn't like how I said that. Okay, so next we have a liquid highlighter by Beauty Glazed. This is she. It's called the 3D Highlighter Liquid Glow. I have this in the shade 02 Bronze. It claims to be cruelty free, which is everything. Oh, I just remembered I forgot to do my nails. Oh, you must think I'm such a skanky hoe. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I did fully intend to do them, but I just got so distracted by... I was actually watching Steve-O videos, honestly. Like, please don't think less of me for that. But 
I was watching Steve old videos. I I forgot. Anyway, guys. So yeah, this is this is she. She looks to be a beautiful light champagne shade. Her, the packaging is uh, similar to the iconic liquid highlighter, which I've actually been considering buying for a while now. But it's quite expensive. I don't know how much I would use it. And I just thought, you know what? Let's try a cheaper version first. So this one, I mean. I, how much can you tell through the packaging? We are going to be trying her out soon. Okay, so actually the next product isn't from AliExpress. I got this product ages ago and when I was sorting out my chest of drawers in my bedroom the other day, I came across it and I was like, I've never tried this. I don't know when I got it, where I got it from, like I don't know anything, but I figured I would like show it in the haul and if you want to see me try it, then I definitely will and if you don't, it's just going to go in the bin, honestly. But the this is the Unique Moodstruck 3D Fibre Lashes. I recently tried out the Silk 4D mascara that I got from Amazon, which was the highest rated mascara on Amazon. And I really, really liked it. A lot of people said in the comments, you should try out the Unique. This, I don't think is real. It's definitely going to be fake because I feel like if I'd spent the amount of money to have bought the real version, I, I wouldn't have just left it in my chest of drawers, you know? So I am assuming this is going to be fake, but I will try it. It's like I will. I may be risking permanent blindness, but I don't know, guys. Just let me know in the comments. Like, let me know. I'm always up for a laugh. I'm always up for it, as you know. Apart from when I'm at work and I'm just having a really bad week, then I'm not up for a laugh. I'm just crying. Okay, so the final product that I want to show you today is by Hand Iron. And <laughs> that sounded really funny. I don't know why. It's just like Hand Iron. And I felt like towards the end of the word, I became like a 55-year-old man who works in a hardware shop. He's got a red and white check shirt on, denim dungarees. He's got a pen in his pocket, a hammer in his pocket, a tape measure round his waist as a belt because he, that's just the kind of guy he is. So this is a all over liquid glow highlighter. So one of you guys mentioned this to me a while ago and they said, I'm going to you need to try it out. So here it is, proof that I do listen to you guys. So it's actually called the Shimmer Body Keram. Okay, so they had a little typo, nothing too serious, it's fine, we know what they mean. It just says, intense shine blurring effect, water resistant, resistant transfer, shake well before use. And it says, you put two or three pumps onto a big buffing brush and then you just buff it all over your body. I mean, what could be better? So I don't like to wear tights, even in the depth of winter can't be doing with tights because they give me sweaty vagina honestly and I don't have time for that so I always have bare legs but, but I like my legs to be glowy and I can't tell you about the amount of times I wake up in the morning my legs they're not glowy and I think to myself I wish I had some kind of product that would give, give me glowy legs and I even looked in the cupboard the other day knowing full well I do not have any kind of glowy leg product. I do not have anything. But I open the bathroom cabinet and I'm looking in it, looking in it, I don't have anything in there. So I say, right, shit, okay, fine, whatever. But then this turned up and I was like, yes, no longer will I open up the bathroom cabinet and then shut it being disappointed that I do not have an all over body glow. Thank you, Hand Diane, thank you so much. Do you know what? I've been blessed with some eyelash cutting scissors, so I'm actually going to use them instead of struggling. I've struggled enough this week. I do not need to be struggling right now. By the way, as well, guys, I, I don't want you to be, like, worried about me. You know, I don't want you to be thinking, oh, my gosh, like, why was Alan crying in the office? I, it was just a, a lot of, like, you know, that like work stress when you just hate your job and you, you hate it. That, that's it guys, that's, that that explains it so well. So it's nothing else, it's just the fact that I fucking hate my job, but like I fucking hate it. So this is what the all over body crew care amp looks like. It looks good, it looks good. I want it all over my body. Guys, this actually, I mean, it looks nice. I know we can't really tell much 
you know, from this. But I feel like at least now when I go into work and, you know, I burst out crying, at least my legs will look good. Do you know what I mean? They're going to be glowy. They're going to be bronzy. Maybe it'll just distract everyone from the fact that I'm when, yes, she's crying again. She's crying again. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? Let's do a little swatch room. Oh, here she comes. She's coming. Okay, so we've just got a tiny little bit there. Okay, let's see. Let's see what she's all about. Oh my gosh! She's very thick and like opaque. You know, like sometimes with a liquid highlighter, they could be a little bit emollient and a bit sheer. Not Han Diane. Oh no, no. And I do appreciate that this is, you know, it's a body lotion as opposed to like a facial liquid highlighter. So it makes sense that, you know, they're just going, they're going hard with this one. They are going hard. Another thing I notice, it dries really, really fast. Like it feels dry, like already which is wonderful <gasps> oh my gosh i could just imagine my legs now in the office just blinding everyone oh my gosh guys like i'm actually looking forward to going into the office now just so i can blind everyone with my legs oh wow guys this looks good oh this has really cheered me up this has really made me feel a lot better about work next week like honestly look at that i know you're probably thinking gosh i'm when like, you are so fickle that all it would take for you to be, like, cheered up is a, like, shimmer body lotion. And it's like, yeah. I Like, yes. That's me. Oh, by the way, guys. So, this is, it is, this is, like, my new jumper. And I think it's so cute. I got it from Primark from the girls section. So, it's, like, for girls aged, like, 11 to 12. It is so cute. It, when I saw it, it instantly reminded me of Clueless. I was just thinking, yes, this is something that Cher would wear. But hers is like, you know, yellowy colour. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I've really, really enjoyed making it as always. I always just feel like so happy when I'm filming a video. Like, I'm at my happiest when I'm with my family. But when I'm also filming videos, like, they're just... They make everything else okay, you know? But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I hope that you've had a good week. I hope that there's not been any crying for you. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you in the next video.